The maiden edition of the National Carpentry and Furniture Summit held in Abuja, the first of its kind in Nigeria and Africa. The event aimed at providing a platform for carpentry and furniture enthusiasts, stakeholders, practitioners, government and the likes of them to meet and foster relationships that will put the industry at a great standing point in Nigeria and beyond. The summit, which was birthed by Dazzle Carpentry Training, an institute that set out to train on scholarship young people who seek to improve on or gain skills in the art of carpentry and furniture making, thereby taking them off the streets and helping them curb unemployment in Nigeria. This was highlighted in the theme of the event, tagged, Inspiring a New Path to Tackle Unemployment with Innovation Through Carpentry and Furniture Practice. Among the dignitaries present at the event was Honorable Kolade Akinjo, who expressed joy that the initiative came, especially at a time when the economy of the country was at an all-time low. He spoke about the importance of the profession to human existence. So what uh, Dazu is trying to do is changing the, the country, changing the direction from, from the usual oil and gas summit. Everybody is talking about oil and gas. Everybody is talking about uh, grammatical education, but now people are talking about skills. And you know, in the skill curve, the way me I see it, there is no limitation. He further enjoined that the initiative be fully supported and also encouraged the youth to be a part of it. Country belongs to the young people. They just have to be enterprising, they have to be an entrepreneur. Don't depend too much on grammatical jobs. Look for skills even when you are in school. One man, one skill. It will assist this country at the end of the day. Mr. Chukudima Oji, the head teacher at Dazzle Carpentry Training, spoke about the inspiration behind Dazzle, the drive, mission, and vision. The inspiration is period. We want to train people. We want to show them that, yes, whatever I know, you can know it. If you know better than me, then I need to improve. Actually, the furniture in Nigeria, why we have a problem is because each company in, in each, each Cornish company in Nigeria want to keep one or two, three things that they know they have. Because I can tell you that from experience. I've been in several furniture companies, and when you walk in there, they want to hide some things. Why are you hiding it? On his part, the director of Dazzle, Mr. Joel Cholmin, further gave an insight into the training process. It is uh, not easy because uh, we must we have to instruct them only three months. So we composed the uh, teaching notes very close and smart and details. And we had to, uh, our curriculum is uh, study, uh, theory, and 70 practice work experience. Speaking on funding the initiative, a representative of the Bank of Industry, Mr. Ibrahim Ahmed, had this to say. Equity contribution in a business is what you're bringing into the business. If you want someone to finance your business, you're going to have to put something into it to show that you believe in this business, to encourage someone else to finance the business. A high point of the summit was the graduation of the first set of trainees from the institute who had undergone the training and scholarships. The graduates expressed their joy and sincere appreciation to the initiators of the project. The training I've gotten so far, uh, I intend to go into business, as, you know, to set up my own business and see how I can also help others who are unemployed, you know, to look into um, the aspect of furniture making, to see how I can train people just the way that's who have trained me today. Adesua Osuyi for Fresh News TV.